There is one item in old school RuneScape that increases your XP per hour, makes you more GP per hour, reduces your risk in the wilderness, extends your slayer trips, and it can be used by Iron Men. Why haven't you heard of this item? Well, you probably have, because it's 17 years old, but very few people use it or know just how powerful this item is when it's used properly. But first, as always, there's a bond hidden within the video, and the first person to find it and timestamp it with their username gets it. The imp in a box allows you to instantly send any item or any stack of items straight to your bank and only requires level 71 hunter to catch. The wilderness boss rework brought one of the best money makers in the entire game, but if you've done any of them you'll know you have a dilemma. It's a huge PK hotspot, so after you've done a bunch of kills do you bank. You haven't had a major item yet, but you're now risking a decent amount. Each inbox you have allows you to bank two items or two stacks of items and it works up to level 30 wilderness, as long as you're not in combat. So you can use these against all of the solo versions and after each kill send your items direct to the bank, or simply send the higher value drops whichever you prefer, massively reducing your risk down to just what you're wearing. Despite this, I couldn't find this method in a single guide and it doesn't stop there. You can also use your imps to never bank at black chins. You don't even need to pick up your box traps. By running just 1-2 to two levels south to level 30 wilderness, you can bank your chins and get straight back to catching them, reducing your risk again as well as increasing the XP per hour by not having to bank. How many more players will be willing to train on black chins if the most you ever risked was just 20-30 to 30 of them? At Rev you won't be able to bank every item, but even still you can use these to bank all of the expensive drops that you get. Just by banking the higher value items will reduce your risk by about half, and it also stops you needing to bank if you get a unique item. And that's not the only use in the Rev Caves either. How many players have you seen trading a stack of ancient statuettes to the Emblem Trader with hundreds of millions of GP without an inbox in their inventory? Whilst you can't use the inbox in combat, if you're attacked in the new rev caves, your best chance to escape is to freeze and log out. The key difference between that and the imp in the box though, is that to log out you need to be out of combat for 10 seconds. You can bank your risk using the imp after just 5 seconds of not being in combat, and since it works up to level 30, that's pretty much half of the rev caves. You can even take off your gear and bank it if you're risking a lot, if you manage just to line aside someone for a short period. You can also use these things to bank any big drop from the Wilderness Slayer Caves or shards from the Crazy Archaeologist. All of this is just one part of what this can do though, as it also increases your GP and XP per hour. I will show you how to get them at the end of the video, but catching games get you around 120,000 XP per hour, which is similar to Red Chins. Red Chins does make you 400,000 GP per hour and Imps don't, but you can make more GP and XP by having the boxes when you do other things. What's important to note is that collecting Impling boxes is 3-5 to five times faster than you use them in most things, meaning the actual cost to you is around 100,000 GP per hour or 146,000 if you're dropping the boxes which cost 700 GP each. So I decided to test this on a decent combat moneymaker, Brutal Black Dragons, to see if this is really worth doing. So I did 3 trips without boxes and the same amount of kills with boxes was done in one trip as each box banks 2 items and then you can fill up your inventory as normal. I did 19 kills in 20 minutes and 29 seconds without the boxes, which averaged me at 79.7 thousand XP per hour, and with boxes I got 19 kills in 17 minutes and 6 seconds, which equates to 92.1 thousand range XP per hour. 
the average Brutal Black Dragon kill is 24,000 GP. This method gets you an extra 10 kills per hour with boxes, meaning you make an additional 240,000 GP and an extra 12.8,000 range XP. I tested this with other money makers just to make sure this wasn't a one-off and the results were almost identical, but where you'll probably make the most money with these things is in Slayer. If you're anything like me, you hate banking all the time and Slayer creatures always seem to be far away from a bank. I've cancelled so many tasks purely based on just how often you have to bank in a Slayer task alone, and when I actually do them, I'd much rather leave or bury Worm and Drake Bones than keep having to bank. Green, Red, Blue and Black Dehyde are the same unless I'm close to a bank. Even bossing, when camping wrecks, I don't really care that I don't have space for the bones, I'm there for the bearing. But if you were to take around 20 boxes to any of these places, you would make between 60 and 300,000 GP extra per trip. The largest benefit of all though I think is reserved for Iron Man. Unlike most players that can ignore any low value item that we get, knowing we can just buy it later, Iron Men need to keep almost everything. They get all of the previous perks, but by sacrificing collecting red chins, which is some nice range in XP, don't get me wrong, within boxes, Iron Man can collect three times as much every trip to get those annoying secondary ingredients, pick up three times as many herbs and seeds from things like Abra Spectres and Korask, just so many useful places you can use them for, because when you're an Iron Man, old school RuneScape turns you into a hoarder. So before we get onto the best place to catch the imps, the question is, if they're so good, why doesn't anyone use them? And I think in all honesty, they're just a forgotten item that was released a very long time ago and the best uses for them have come in recent times. Efficient scape also wasn't a thing back then. You can buy these boxes from any hunter shop such as this one in your nil and they cost 700 GP each. I've tested many areas and the one that I've found to be the best is by the sand crabs just east of the bank chest in Corent. There are tons of implings just here, but you have to spread your boxes out a little bit as they don't respawn as quickly as chins do. I've personally found three boxes between the trees here and two boxes just to the west to be the best and it got me around 120,000 XP per hour. With practice you may get a better spot than I have, but this one means you collect 266 in boxes per hour. In all of the videos, money makers, guides or whatever I do, this has probably got to be the one where the results have shocked me the most. Will you now use this item or is it destined to be the most useful item that no one actually uses? Let me know in the comments.